Here we have a solo in G, a G blues, but you can be mixing in some of the major pentatonic as opposed to just using the minor pentatonic. Now it starts off with a blues idea out of minor pentatonic. Slide up to the five, that C to D. Then you have this alternating triplet figure. Again, down, up, down, up, down, up, working between the strings. So one, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Then we're going to be moving to the four chord, which is C. So here's your C chord. So notice how you'll move right up to chord tone. So you can hear the chord change. Here's G. Okay, now we get some sweet country ideas going. So you had... Now that's out of the G major pentatonic scale. Here's your G chord. There's your G major pentatonic scale. You're bending the D to the E, a 5-6 movement. A bend and release. Then the last time... Little B.B. King type idea. We're on the C chord. Well, here's a C7 arpeggio. C, E, G, B flat, D. C9 arpeggio. So, hear the chord tones coming into play. Got that triplet pull off there, the B flat to the G. Then... We're back on the G chord. Right here. Moving up to the three of the chord. That's got... Hear the country sound? Major pentatonic. Then... Nice repetitious triplet lick. Put it right in the pocket. And he glists down. Now since this track incorporates some of the major pentatonic, and I alluded to some B.B. King ideas, before I demonstrate it again against the track and show you some variations, I want to show you a great area that you want to develop in your playing. If you look at this G chord, which is a capoed C fingering, and you also uh, connect it with this G7, which is a C7 chord slid up the neck, you'll be in the right area. Now, your first finger is going to be on the G. So there is a scale, a pentatonic scale, and it's actually a blues scale when you add the flat five. And it's a second string root pentatonic. Now, we're going to talk about the top three strings of this. In measure five of this particular solo, you had that then. Well, you can view this a couple different ways. I'm going to show it to you looking at it as if you're playing over a G chord. Here's your root, your fifth, your sixth. So that's where the sweetness comes from. But if you stay away from that E, the sixth, here's the scale. You've got D, F, G, B flat, C, C sharp, D. And there's a flat five movement. Yeah, it sweetens it up when you throw that E in there. Now, if I just play a lick that goes like... That's right. You hear how it's sweetened up by the insertion of that E note. Now, when you're bending the D up to the E, you're up in this register. Well, the octave of that E is right here. So that explains the sweetness when you go like... Hear the sweetness coming in, as opposed to if I go like... Big difference between the F, which is the flat 7, and the E, which is the 6. Now that's another option. You can bend the D to the E, which is a 5-6 move, or you can bend it three half steps, a minor third, up to the F. So when I do some variations on this, I'm going to stick primary, primarily to that area instead of 
taking the solo and, and just expanding on that. I wanted to kind of cultivate on this particular lesson how to work this area. So I just called it the BB King area. All right, I'm going to play the solo again against the track as written. And I'm going to work this little area up here in the 8th, 7th, and 8th positions and show you how to mix this major pentatonic and blues scale. <laughs> 